Nerf Elite 2.0 Slice Shop. Let's get it unboxed. The Nerf Elite 2.0 Slice Shot. It's actually a really good blaster. I've been looking for this thing for a while because this is one of the cheaper versions. And uh, I finally found it. I found it at one of my uh, at one of my neighborhood just regular stores. It was around on the shelf. I paid a little bit more than you probably should for it. I think I paid like nine bucks for it. I think this is more like a six or seven dollar blaster. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is about nine. It's not a bad blaster. Uh, pretty simple like I said it's their lower end it's the lower end of Elite 2.0 really but it does have storage for two darts right here works fantastic and of course it's one shot there's your prime it does have a little I guess you put a lanyard or something it's got a it's got a way to carry it at some point the triggers kind of cheap feeling but it's not bad when it's primed now this this blaster has a really good handle on it. I mean, I got full size hands and no issues. I mean, my hands all the way on it. So you'll never have an issue with that. The grip is really nice. Like I said, the sights. It's got a really good sight picture to it. And uh, upon running across the chronograph, uh, I used elites. I used Zuru darts. I used Zuru. I guess they're waffle darts or different type of dart. And then I used dart zone darts and I used uh, adventure force darts. Now with Nerf, we did hit 70 once, but it was more like 66 to 67, 68 is where it stayed, which is really good for something like this. I mean, that's pretty darn good. It's a small blaster and it's almost hitting 70. That's really, really good. Now uh, with, with the uh, all the waffles, it went down quite a bit. Now, accuracy, it really wasn't that bad even with the Elite. It seems like an Elite, if you push it slower, it's actually fairly accurate. If you push it at high speeds, it kind of sucks. But these weren't too bad. It did okay in the testing. And uh, it just, the waffles, it didn't matter if it was Dart Zone. The Dart Zone seemed like they were just a little bit faster. Adventure Forces were a little slower, but they are around 62 to 64 right in that area 65 ish they never really went any higher than that uh, so the elite's just a tiny bit faster but it's worth going with a waffle over the speed so so there's that uh i have different ammunition there's not really anything else to talk about about it i mean it's pretty plain basic i mean it's a simple blaster i, I want to say if you open it up it's actually got the way this trigger feels, it's actually got a plastic style type spring deal in it. I might be wrong, but I'm going to say it does because it's got the snap on little cover on it. But out of the super cheap ones that I've got, this is actually one of the nicer ones that I have picked up. So there's that. So anyway, we're going to run some regular Nerf Elites, and I'm going to use some Waffle Dars. I'm going to use some Zuru Dars. I'm going to use some. I guess pro long zero darts. I'm not really sure what they are. And then we'll run some dart zones through it. We're just going to sit her down the range and we'll just shoot it and let you see what it'll do. Here we go. All right, we are currently loading up with various elite darts. I've got four or five more to shoot. We've got them in here showing you them in the holder. We're going to go ahead and shoot these out. And then I've got, like I said, four or five more. We're going to shoot them down range. And we're going to switch over probably to, uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to the Zuru darts. I only have like three of those. And then we'll switch over to, uh, I may have more than that. And then we'll switch over to Adventure Force and we'll switch over to Dark Zone. We'll just, we'll just go through them all and that way you can see what they're doing and how accurate they are. Uh, for this test here, I will probably aim at the rival target only. Just to give you an idea how accurate it is. We are at right around 22 feet is what this is going to be at. So, so you know, and here we go. So, you know, and here we go.
as expected, pretty much zero accuracy. But that's okay. We're going to go up to the Green Adventure Forces. Give these dudes a shot. And see how they do. I have... I got, I got four of them. All right, three. Yeah, I got four of them laid out here. So we'll go ahead and run through these. Give you, let you see what them do. I have some of these style of zeros we're going to shoot, and then we've got the dart zone chili, and then we have. I've got a few of these. I'm calling them the zero pro dart. I don't know. We're just going to shoot them. See what it does. Here we go. Just going to shoot them. See what it does. Here we go. Alright, so we actually hit one. It seems to do a lot better with the actual dart zones. But right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch to the uh, zeros. We'll go ahead and run the zeros. These are like the pro ones here that come with the pro blaster. And then we got these type here. We'll shoot these two. So we're going to shoot all five of these. Here we go. We'll shoot these two. So we're going to shoot all five of these. Here we go. Alright, get away. Alright, so that was the regulars. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. Air pocket design jobs. They're not very good. They're okay. They're not really that great. Did I tell you what? The actual Zero Pro Darts were actually really good. I hit both of them with that. So, I don't know. They might be the best. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and load up with Dart Zone Chilies. I have six of these. And we'll shoot them and see how they do. I think these do okay as well. Here we go. I think these do okay as well. Here we go. There you have it. It's not bad. It did okay with the dart zones. Did really good with the uh, actual Zuru Pros. I, I don't really know what they're called. The long darts. So not terrible. This is uh, it's it's plenty accurate enough for twenty ish feet. You get out much more than that, and you're kind of pushing the bar. This would be pretty hard pressed to do a full thirty feet accurately. Now, I, I, I like the Elite 2.0. I know it's, it's kind of a lot of people don't like it. Some do, some don't. But it's kind of got a lot of hate. I actually like it. I enjoy a lot of the blasters. I mean, some of them are, you know, like this one where you really can't take it apart. And that's okay. I mean, I don't have to mod it. everything. I mean, most of the things. But not everything. So this, this is okay. This is fine. A lot of our blasters are just stock and we don't touch them and those are a lot of times the ones that we use whenever we have a little dart war in the house perfect because you, you don't want hot rod stuff in the house really not really for a dart war. target practice is okay dart war not so much this though if like I said, I think I paid about nine bucks for this. I think that's a little bit much. This isn't really a nine or ten dollar blaster. But if you could find it for around six, I think this is a good deal. It's a pretty decent blaster. Reasonable accuracy. I'm just going to leave it at that at best because it doesn't have that great of accuracy. I actually tried really hard to hit that rival target and I, I was struggling really bad. But cool blaster it is comfy would make a great sidearm i mean kids are gonna have no issues with this whatsoever none the priming none they will have no issues with this blaster so 
this would I, I say kids would do really well with this one and, and probably like it because the grip's plenty big and it's really easy for them to prime it because they can they just they can just get in there and they do have their storage for two here this is kind of unconventional because it's not actually a circle but it actually holds darts really really well so there's that of course it's got the dart post in it so i'm not gonna be able to shoot short darts out of it won't happen unless you mod it i more than likely won't mod this i mean i just i don't know i don't really see the point of it i mean i think you could probably do some great things with this just because of the way the piston system is in this blaster but we probably won't we'll probably leave it just like this but I mean, I recommend it. I mean, it's not a bad blaster. It just depends. If you're looking for stuff for some, you know, you want kids to just have something that you're not really worried about them tearing up so much, this would be great. I mean, this would be a great blaster for that. Kids should have no trouble. I mean, it's it, it's it's stout enough that I don't think they're going to tear it up. So, great kids blaster. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't pay a lot for them. I, I probably paid too much at nine. But that might be the going rate. I don't know. This is a $6 blaster is what I look at it as. But either way, like I said, if you decided you want to get this, you want to get it for your kids, they'll be great. They'll have no problem with it. It's easy to load. It's easy to operate. It's, it's good. I mean, I have no... There's nothing wrong with it. I don't have any issues with it. It works like it's supposed to, so... Uh, Hopefully this helps you out if you decide or if you've seen this or you were curious, is it even worth messing with? It's a pretty decent blaster for the price that you pay. I mean, even for $9 that I paid, it's not bad. I mean, it's like I said, it's not really a $9 blaster, but it's not bad. But hopefully this helps you out, and I hope you guys have out of this video. And thanks for watching.